Hello, I'm Stephen Morris from New Order. This is uh, Gillian Gilbert from New Order as well. And uh, yeah, we've been kindly invited here to do What's in My Bag, and this is What's in Our Bag. You're going to start, Julian. What did you buy? I was looking at the T-shirts, yeah. and this reminded me of one of the first records I got obsessed with when I, I was about sixteen. I never knew you liked that record. Yeah, we did. We played it. It was worn out. My vinyl. That was my favourite record as well. Not funny. That's funny. <laughs> I never knew you liked <laughs> it until today. I couldn't find the records. So <laughs> I've got it. I'm going to get the T-shirt instead. You got to see it. Can I have it? Uh, no. Oh. I've got this one by Senor Coconut. <laughs> That looks very festive. <laughs> Do you know who he is? No. Atom, Atom TM, who's done that HD record. Yeah, pop oh, HD. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think it's him under another guy's doing yeah. a bit of Latino thing, so I thought that might be interesting. They kick you, they beat you, they tell you that it's fair, so beat it. But you wanna be bad, just beat it, beat it. Find a family stone box set, you can't beat a box set. I'm going to keep this one and not play it till Christmas. Why Christmas, though? Because nothing says Christmas <laughs> like a box set. And nothing says Christmas <laughs> like Sly and the Family Stone. Very good. This is for my daughter. Because she loves the vinyl at the moment. She loves vinyl and she loves the gorillas. And she loves the gorillas. So you couldn't really go wrong with that and one. Blur, so. I'm useless, but not for long. The future is coming on. And then I got this for me because I remember the Jesus and Mary chain being very. Do you remember when to see him? Yeah. When Bobby Gillespie <laughs> was drumming for him. Bobby Gillespie yeah. used to jump from standing I used to up. Really like these as they well. were very loud, though, I remember that yeah. gig. Tell you what, you give me that <laughs> and I'll, I'll save this for Christmas and you can have this one and give it me at Christmas. <laughs> right, and then we'll wrap them up then. We'll wrap them up, right. Desmond Decker. Oh yes, I remember them. He's very cheerful. It's Good final cover. as well. I thought like a Grace could play this yeah. one as well, try and get her into a bit of, bit of reggae because, you know, she'll get tired of the gorillas <laughs> eventually. And this has got Shanty Town on it and um, the Israelites, which is of course his famous track. In the, in the morning, yeah, they're monster tracks. The oh. Scar only did monster tracks. Oh, uh, yeah, Paper Cuts. I got their, their um, first record or another record. It might not have been as purely on just because I like the name of the band. And it was a very good record. And then I've just seen this one. No, you, pro you probably have, you know, when you said, turn this off. <laughs> What's this rubbish you're playing? Well, it's probably, the, well, it probably wasn't them, they're quite yeah. good. That one, Jeff Beck, Truth. Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you remember Leckerman's, the clothes shop? Good match. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the guy in the, uh, the, 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 I was at school, the lad used to work in there, and we used to go on the Saturday mornings, and uh, when the bloke went out of the shop, we used to put this on, and... Listen to it again, put people off buying, <laughs> buying school blazers. He only had two records, the guy. Keith. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they were both by Jeff Beck. It has got the stereo mix of high O silver lining on, so ah. it's another one that's going to be good for Christmas. What have you got? Lady Gaga. Oh, bloody hell, that's different. The remix. I was obsessed with Lady Gaga for a couple of years as well. well you still are, aren't you? I still you am, still yeah. are because you've got that. Well, I have, yeah, because. Um, She's a bit I weird, need isn't some she? New stuff, yeah. And then I got obsessed with um, Lana Del Rey. Maybe she's been... And I've not heard. Ultraviolence. No. You ought to have got a song called that. I know. I wonder if it's, it's a cover version. <laughs> The live 
live version is really the live good version of it. We do some very yeah. good live versions of Ultra Bad Fat. Lana Del Rey's been watching all the videos <laughs> on this. this. I got this one because I like the cover. Venetian oh, Snares. I saw that one as well. Yeah, that's funny, that, isn't it? We yeah. were both drawn to the same one. Yeah. Wow. You go somewhere and it's like going to an art gallery. In well, you, you, you like the cover? Yeah, but that's what we used to do. And I got a weird book. Oh. Got a look. A weird book by Brian Geissen. Brian Geissen invented the dream machine, which was basically a lamp that went and was supposed to make you get all trippy, but without drugs. A friend of um, William Burroughs who oh actually wrote the uh, recommendation for this book. A mirage or a drug-induced revelation <laughs> as the intense immediacy of the search for mystic enlightenment. And then it's got Davy Bowie, Iggy Pop and Brian Jones. So, yeah. Oh. Well, this is for the one where, um, where Ian asked him for a copy of it. Is it? Well, this isn't it. It was the third <laughs> mind. When we played, Joy Division played a gig in the, the Plan K in Brussels and Brian Geissen was um, his book The Third Mind had come out and uh, that Ian went and asked him if he'd got any of these books in English and uh, Burroughs told him to fuck off kid which is <laughs> the sort of thing you'd expect. I'd never seen a, a book by Brian Geissen since uh, in a shop for sale. And then I got a birthday card for my niece who will be 25 tomorrow. Who would have thought you could find so much in one <laughs> store? Anything else? Anything else, sir? No, that's it. That's all right. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.